The Create mod offers three methods for generating rotational power, water wheels, windmills, and steam engines. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can construct a startle steam engine for your Create mod playthrough. The steam engine I'll be showing you is very inexpensive and does not require any expensive materials such as brass. Each section generates around 2,000 stress units, and the only thing you're going to need before building this machine is a mechanical press, which will be used to create the copper sheets used for the steam engine. Now that we have that out of the way, let's start building the machine. Here's a list of materials you're going to need for the first section of the machine. And for every steam engine you want to add to the machine, you're going to need these resources. Now let's start out with building the first part of the machine. Place your vertical gear shift down in a large cogwheel next to it. Now build up 4 blocks and place another vertical gear shift here. Now for the steam engine port. First thing you're going to want to do is break these two blocks and break one block down to place down the campfire. Now place 4 tanks above the campfire and your steam engine down. Now connect the shaft to the steam engine like so and put a water wheel here. Now break these 4 blocks and place your water buckets down. Now you have your first steam engine. If you want more steam machines for more rotational power, all you're going to have to do is copy what you've done here multiple times. Say your machine stopped generating rotational power and you don't know how to start it back up. It's quite simple. All you have to do is place on a cogwheel and a hand crank next to it. The cogwheel can only power two mechanical pumps at a time, so you're going to need to break the one next to it so that you can have enough power to start the steam engine. Once the steam engine is back up and running, you can place back down your mechanical pump here and your steam engine will resume as normal. If you want a simple way to have a faster rotational speed, you can use gear rotations. Just apply a large cogwheel like so and a small cogwheel next to it. Then just repeat this process over and over again. Every time you place a small and large cogwheel, the speed is doubled until you reach max RPMs. One thing I'd like to point out is not to rely on this machine too much. While you may think it's a good idea to just spam this machine over and over again to create rotational power, it's not. The reason I say this is because you can make machines relatively the same size that produce way more stress units, like 64,000 and even up to 294,000. Granted, they are more complicated and expensive, but once you pass the oily game, I would highly recommend making a higher tier steam engine. If you're interested in how to make a 64,000 stress unit machine, check the description. A week after this video is uploaded, I'll be presenting my new 294k stress unit machine. So subscribe if you don't want to miss it.